We're back now with the second half of this two-part video on how to keep your pie dough from cracking, a very common problem I hear about. We've cut in the fat, we've added the water and stirred it up, and now we're going to, number three, knead your dough once, just like this, to work out any lumps and to get the whole thing acquainted with itself. Then we'll shape it into a thick disc on a floured surface. And if the edges crack, we'll pinch them back together. Number four, and I admit this is a bit of a departure from the way I've typically done this, but instead of leaving the dough in that big fat disc that we just formed, I want you to flour it and put it inside of a gallon plastic freezer bag and roll it into an eight inch circle. And the reason I want you to do this now is that the dough is in a very agreeable and cooperative mood. It's going to roll easily, so you might as well take advantage of that now and do a little rolling. But we're not going to take it too far and press our luck and, and roll too much because we don't want the dough to get warm and sticky. The other thing is, the other reason I want you to do this, is that when you go to finish the rolling the dough out, it's just easier and the dough is less likely to crack. If you've got a head start on rolling the dough and you're just rolling from this 8 inch size out to like this 13 inch size rather than this fat disc size out to 13 inches. In other words, you just have less distance to go so you're less likely to mess it up. Anyway, seal the bag up and refrigerate the dough for about one to two hours now. Finally, number five, when you are ready to roll, take the dough out of the fridge and let it sit at room temperature for about five minutes. Then take it out of the bag, put it on a floured surface, dust your pin and the dough, and give the dough a few gentle rolls to wake it up. Here's a little secret, your dough doesn't like to wake up quickly, so be gentle at first. Then just finish rolling. And by the way, I typically like to roll on waxed paper, it's just a habit of mine. And I always try to roll from the center out. Uh, if the edges do crack, don't worry about it, just pinch them back together. And if you've done all this, your dough shouldn't crack, it shouldn't stick, you won't have a meltdown, and you'll be able to invert the pastry right over the pan. Okay. Now, I know that was all kind of quick, but you're smart, you can pick up on this stuff quickly. And I think it should help. This is all stuff, by the way, that I'm going to cover in much more detail in my upcoming pie dough video course. Meanwhile, keep practicing. Work these tips into your own pie dough making and you will do great. No more pie meltdowns. And since some of you have asked, I haven't forgotten about that Lake Crusade pie plate sale that I promised last week. It's coming soon. Watch for the next video to find out more. And thanks for watching today.